She gon' be tired of being alone, gon' be, yeah, get me a honey bun, then fill on my honey buns. Uh-huh. Grab me a bag of lace, yeah. and then go yeah, and get laid. Oh, oh that's shit, it, you all right? I'm play it, but I see what you doing, hey, honey. You hey, got your hey. snacks. You finna channel and chill tonight. Oh, what's that say? Channel TV. What's that, what's that YouTube, say? web comedy series and shit, a whole bunch of funny DMV comedians and shit. It's nice. It's nice. Real nice. How will I watch that? Why I watch that? YouTube. I'll send you the link or something. Send me, send me the link, baby. Look, scratch my back. I'll scratch your back. I need some weed. You got some weed? No, I ain't got some I like to get high when I watch the time. No, know? listen. I was just looking for some weed. All right, we need to do that. I got back, what? That blunt. Well, we need to get weed. Yeah, come on. Let's get some weed. Let's get some motherfucking weed. Oh, I ain't paid for this shit yet. Yeah, I ain't paid for this shit yet. Pay for that shit. Hey man, we don't even steal. We don't steal. Mm -hmm. Well, I steal. He don't. It's Bruce Daddy, bitch. I'm on my way. Yeah. We're going to channel with chill tonight, right? I'm trying to catch your hat. So I'm going to be over there and drop this pink off here. Yeah. I'm trying to hurry up so we can watch the channel. We're going to channel with chill. Oh, hold up, bitch. I got a hat right now. Hold on, bitch. But you need a ride? Yeah, yo. I'm trying to go to West real quick, yo, by 8.30. Yeah, because I'm trying to watch the channel, yo. The channel for more tonight. I got everything I need. I got my weed, my snacks, I got my girl shit. We got five dollars. I took you anyway. Five dollars. Hey, you feel me? The gas check. We got for the gas check. You got cash out though, right? Because I ain't got cash. I spent all my cash on on my snacks and shit. Send me that cash, yo. Cash app, the channel app, whatever. I need cash. Bro, look, if I send you this five dollars on cash, yeah, get me home so I can watch the channel TV. I got you, yes sir. Yeah. Dick. Dick, you on? Oh. Hey, you all, this is Dick with Channel 69 News at 9, the only news show that offers two sides of the news for your viewing pleasure. And once again, I am Dick. Uh, we're not going to waste a lot of time. No more did you waste to turn into this channel in the first place. Uh, we have the weather, and we've heard it's going to be crazy. So we have Dick live from the studio to introduce Johnson. Johnson, take it away. Thanks for passing it back. Go over to me, Dick. Yeah. How you doing? This is Johnson. I'm live from Channel 69 News. As you can see, I'm live in the studio with your weekly weather forecast. This week is gonna be nasty. It's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be nasty. This week gonna be nasty as a motherfucker. But guess what? I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. Monday, we have hurricanes. Tuesday, we have a tornado. Wednesday, it's a possible earthquake. Thursday, it looked like it may be a thunderstorm. Friday, where it looked like we're gonna see a tornado. But look, guess what? I don't plan to be planning on the world coming to an end. So we're gonna be just great. So look, check this out. This week, we have a 100% chance of precipitation. It's supposed to be very wet outside. If you like looking wet, feeling wet, getting wet, this is your chance right here. So make sure you go outside and enjoy that lovely, disastrous, dangerous weather. I did. So, if you haven't already paid your water bill, no need to, because we're getting plenty of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, find you somebody that's nasty for this nasty weather, okay? Because you don't want to be outside and slip and slide if your tires ain't good. So if your car is not passing 2006, keep that piece of shit by the bricks. If it ain't a two pass 2006, Keep that shit by the bricks because you could possibly lose your life out here this week in this nasty ass weather. Dick, I might need a ride home with you. All right, excuse me? <laughs> no, I'm not saying I got a bad car or anything. Dick, can I ride home with you? Um, you're gonna need an Uber. Uber? A Uber, Johnson, Uber. No, you ain't gonna do, you still owe me, man. Uh, Johnson, no. You owe me, Dick. Okay, Johnson, yeah, right. see you later. Um, you all, this is Dick, and that was Johnson. I don't know how he's getting home, but I know you are home. And stay locked to Channel 69 News at 9, the only news show that gives you two sides of the news for your viewing pleasure. Once again, this is Dick. I'll be driving home in my own car. Y'all, you take it easy. See you later, man. 
Man, Pastor J, man. Man, brother, that's some of the best shit you've ever had, man. Oh, yo sé, lo mío siempre es fuego, mi amigo. Te lo estoy diciendo. Esto es fuego. La hierba más mejor que tú fumaste en tu vida para que te lo sepa, loco. Para que te lo sepa, esto es lo mejor. Te lo estoy diciendo. Mejor del mundo. Mejor del mundo. Mejor del mundo. Mejor del mundo, manito. Te lo estoy diciendo. I'm telling you. Man, speak English, man. It's the best weed you ever smoked in your life, man. I'm telling you. You know what? It's not lit, though. This my weed is always lit. You know what's not lit? What, man? Your stupid America hat, man. man what Your you stupid want? America you hat, man. It's not lit. I don't like it at all, man. I don't like it at all. You know why I don't like it, man? Because you support that America shit. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I never trusted you, man. I never trusted you because you fuck with that America shit. Wearing that America shit around me. You know what's going on? You see that grass out here? The landscape companies and everything. My people, they created that, man. They started that. They didn't create it, but they take care of their families and everything. And how much would you do that for? Would you do that for $5, man? Nah, man. Hell no, man. You want to do that for $5? No. Man. You work five dollars. I pay you five dollars to do that. But no, listen, man. man, people they they work jobs that people do not want to work in America, and those are the jobs that make the world go round, man. It's crazy. You know what else is crazy? Yeah, man, it's crazy you know what man. else is crazy, man? The little kids, the niños, the immigration camps, man. The little niños, and they, camps. yeah, man. A lot of the niños they get separated, put in foster care. They going back to their country. Little kid jails, man. And little kid jails. Two to six year olds, man. Two to six years old kids in jail with no mama, no papa. Eso me duele mi corazón, no man. No papa, no mama, nada, man. Te lo estoy diciendo. Man, it's so sad. It's so sad, man. You know why? Because that's America, but you support what that America should. I knew it. I fucking knew it when you heard the fucking stupid shit that you ain't give a fuck, man. You don't give a fuck about nothing. You know what else drives me crazy? That shit what, going on with Puerto Rico, man. It's going on Rico, man. man. The earthquakes, man. The earthquakes. La, la, the shaking la, things? Yeah, man. The shaking things happening every day, man. Every fucking day, man. And guess what? America. America. No one to help me, America. You don't want to help Puerto Rico, America. Yeah, That's crazy. This doesn't want to help, man. It drives me so sad, man. Oh, man, is you gonna pass the J, man? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought man. I passed it to you, man. Come on, man. Nah, man. I'm, I'm gonna pass it to you, but I passed it to you already, man. This guy's fucking man. crazy, man. Take that fucking hat off, man. Take that hat off, man. Hey, okay, man. All Only because right, we're right. in your car, man. No, nah, man. Take that shit off, man. And take the shit off and get me back to J. Ha 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 ha. Good evening, my fellow Americans. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Didn't I tell you we just had hurricanes this last weekend? Florida and North Carolina got fucked up. And you know why we got hurricanes? Because Mexicans bring hurricanes. If y'all don't want to get the wall though, though, right? Y'all don't want to pay for the motherfucking wall and shit. Why? 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 They bringing hurricanes over. That's what Mexicans do. That's why we need a wall to keep that shit out. What do I have to do to get the wall done? Do I need to put a thousand glory holes in the wall so you can get sucked off by a bitch that look like Selena? What do you want to do? Hmm? Yeah, my girl, yeah, my bitch is an immigrant too, but that bitch, she can leave too. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get the fuck the wall built. But y'all niggas, y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't want to give me no kind of love. Y'all don't want to fucking meet me halfway with shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all dick rolled Obama so much some of y'all niggas is pregnant, but I, when it comes to me, nobody riding my dick. I want to get my dick rolled. Anybody here want to ride my dick? Nope, nope. I'm getting a fucking dry dick right now because nobody wants to ride my dick. You know what I'm saying? I want to get shit done too. Nigga, I got a fucking, the economy is booming, nigga. All these niggas got jobs. Everybody got a goddamn job. If you don't have a job, you don't, have, you don't want one on purpose. That's your fault. You feel me? Everything's doing good. We, we haven't had a terrorist attack since motherfucking Obama was in office. But now we have some white people doing some crazy shit, but those aren't terrorism. That is mental health issue. That's, that's something totally different. They're white. They're, they're harmless. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I'm saying. Like, meet me halfway, niggas. I'm trying to do y'all a service. I'm trying to keep America great. 
open. No, nigga. No. Y'all just keep motherfucking fuck on the nigga, bro. It's st stressful as a motherfucker. It's stressful. Look what the fuck y'all got me doing. Tobacco, nigga. I ain't even do that shit. That, that's... Nigga, I don't, even, I don't even fuck America. That's what I really want to say. I know keep make America great. Keep America great. Fuck America right now, though. Today, nigga. Because y'all niggas are some dick riding assholes that don't want to fucking help me. So, y'all want to help me? Fuck y'all. I'm out. No questions. Eat a dick. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome y'all to the first episode of Keeping It Black with your boy, Black. Please give a round of applause for my all black all. <laughs> now, if you don't know, now you know. My job is to show you how to in your everyday life keep it black. And today, I'm going to show you how to keep it black on a late night when you get a little thirsty. All right? Now, we all know how it is when it's about 10, 11 o'clock at night. You a little thirsty, you want to squiddle your little way down to the kitchen, get a little drink, and make your way back upstairs. And today, I'm going to show you how to do all of that and keep it in. Black. Now, normally when you get out of bed, the first thing you're going to do is grab yourself a pair of socks. And normally those pair of socks will be a white pair of socks. Now, we all know that nine times out of ten, when you're walking downstairs, the floor just might be a little dirty. And what happened to a white pair of socks when they get dirty? Ha! <laughs> they turn black. That's why it's just better off just wake up, get out of bed, and grab yourself a black pair of socks. Not a white pair of socks, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to keep it black. Now, when you get downstairs, you're going to open your refrigerator. First thing you're going to look at is the milk. And we all went on normally the milk is white. No longer will we do this white. Mm. Poison. Ooh. Mm. But we will start getting ourselves a chocolate glass of milk, ladies and gentlemen good for the soul, and if you don't know, now you know. Like the people move in here. Now, normally when you get down there, you're going to make a mess. That's a given. And no longer will we clean our mess with a white roll of paper towels. A white roll of paper towels do not even deserve to be twiddling with our messes. All right, so we're going to grab ourselves a black roll of paper towels, ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't know where to get these from, you can get them today at 1-800-B-L-A-C-K. That's 1-800-B-L-C-C-K. There's two payments of $19.99, and they'll get you gone. Now, normally when your trash is out of the way, you know, you want to go ahead and throw it away, get it out of the way, nobody want to be a litter bug, you're going to grab yourself a white paper bag, but no longer do we do white paper bags because we are keeping it black. Throw your bag away, trash away. In a black trash bag and it's set you straight. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and give y'all the exclusive because this right here is, 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 is one of the most rare black items that you're gonna see because we all know that it's a nice Sunday morning, you wanna clean the house, a black person's go-to is what? The bleach. The bleach. Now, we're all familiar with the bleach bottle being white. But here at Keeping It Black today, I want to give y'all an exclusive, and you can get it right now for one payment of $4.99. That is one payment of $4.99. You can just call me today at 1-800-B-L-A-C-K, and you'll get yourself a Black Beach Bottle. Exclusive offer today. I'd like to thank y'all. Please give a round of applause for my all-black audience. Put this white shit on this goddamn set. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all keep on grabbing. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I don't know what it is. I think it was a white director of some sort. Welcome to 
sister soldier shea butter baby where you can get your cornbread and talk to the dead where you can holler at your peeps even after they six feet deep don't sleep how can i help you today baby my name is patty lou hey patty lou hey baby what you need help with baby i've been trying to communicate with my late husband richard i'm trying to see if he cheated on me with this bitch named sally me patterson Mm, I'm beefing with a bitch named Sally Mae, too. Mm. I owe her a couple of dollars. That bitch. Fuck her. Let's see what I can conjure up here. I'ma say namasama makusa. I'ma say namasama makusa. I'ma say namasama. Oh, Sally! Mm. Don't look good. Look like Richard fucked that bitch Sally. Wait a minute. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Patty. Let's look at the cards and see what happened, okay? Let's do it. Okay. First card we got, pencil. This remind you of anything? I do my crossword puzzle with one of those every month. Mm -mm. No. Richard, he had a pencil dick. I don't know why you worried about him anyway. Baby, the things he can do with his mouth. That is true. Them old guys will eat you like your son. You see me? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what the next card say. Okay. We got the boat. That means it's time for a little vacation. We, I mean, you need a vacation real soon. Try to get that groove back, you know? Mm, been trying to get my groove for 10 days. Okay, now. Woo! Banana. Give me some of them buttons. I, I know that's right, girl. Look like you're going to have some new fruit in your life. Mm, baby. Yes. Praise the Lord. And so. Oh, yeah. This how we going to do it. What that mouth do? Take them teeth out and see what that mouth do. Baby, you better find out. I'm trying to tell you. No, I don't want to know. No, that's for the banana. Mm. Let me see what the dice say, okay? Yeah. Mm. Don't look like you got long before you gonna be up there fighting on Sally Mae. I'm gonna be Sally Mae's ass. Then I'm gonna be Richard's ass too. I know Richard left you a couple of dollars, didn't he? You already know, baby. A few racks. After you pay that fifty nine ninety five for this reading, you pay for us to go on a little vacation, and I make sure you get that groove back before you go meet his ass. Let's do it, baby. You trying to get your groove back? You trying to get my groove back? I'm gonna show you how to get your groove back, baby. Let's go, baby. All right. We out here, baby. Interesting. What's up, everybody? It's tea time with Dooley Doo. And I'm here to tell you why Los Angeles, California is the worst place to get shot. As you see, I've been living in Baltimore almost my life. I moved to LA for a better life. As you can see, Baltimore is not a place to live. While I'm in LA, let me tell y'all, don't let them palm trees fool you. There are really some killers under those palm trees. And now I learned my lesson. If they ever ask you where you're from, you better say OT out of time. Me and my homeboys riding. I guess we was in the wrong neighborhood. There was some dudes on the block. Like, where you little niggas from? I said, yeah, we not ready to stop no car to tell you where we from. That's dangerous. He said, the best thing we could do is keep driving. So they all in the middle of the street like some hyenas throwing up their sits. So my homeboy, I said, pull off. This nigga driving slow as hell. So we pull off, we get down the street. I keep looking behind me. Them niggas, them niggas ain't, they ain't following us. I said, man, we in the clip. So we bang a right. Them niggas hop in the car and bang a right. They catch up to us at the stop sign. 
He just looked at it. Gave me that look. He put up his barrel. Ba, 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 ba. I couldn't believe I was getting shot. But I got shot all right. They get a shooting in the car. Shot my homeboy like four times. They killed him. Then they tried to kill me. Thank God I put up these skinny ass arms that saved me. I don't know how. There's a God. I'm telling you, there's a God. There's no way these low ass arms could have saved me. Got a big ass head. So after we get shot, I get shot up in both hands. I'm bleeding everywhere. The police come. The first thing they do is ask me, what gang am I in? I said, man, I'm not from here. I've never been here. I don't know where the hell we got shot at. I don't even know where I'm at. I don't know why they even shot us. Please help. She like, throw up your set. I said, bitch, I got shot in both arms. What you mean throw up my set? She said, just spell it. I said, lady, I don't know what you're talking about on gangbang. I'm a Muslim. I'm a man of God. She just kept telling me, throw up my set. I said, I can't throw nothing up. My hands are numb. She went like, I'm not standing right there on top of her. She gonna turn around and talk, walk and talk and like, he probably from one of these three gangs in the neighborhood. I'm bleeding out instead of this bitch calling the ambulance. She asking me what set I am and throw up my set and whoop whoop. I said, I don't gang bang. Then we get to the hospital. They talking about I'm a GSW. I get the flashing out in the hospital. I'm like, yo, I told you I don't gang bang. I'm not no GSW. Both times GSW, that was what I was. I was a gunshot wound. Still in there. They asking me what set I claim. I said, I'm a man of God. I'm a Muslim. But don't let those palm trees fool you. There's some killers on them trees. Story time will do what you do.